Morning, Wayne. And morning, Keyshawn. And yep. welcome back from whichever island you spent last week on. I don't know. No, I was I was at home, man. You were at home? Burning up. Burning up at home? I could have did that somewhere else. You could have, actually. <laughs> and morning to Rachel, who never seems to take a vacation. We appreciate that. And let's get to it. The biggest summer league news yesterday concerned this player who went two for nine in his debut on Saturday. I'm talking about Bronny James, who did not play in the Lakers back-to-back -back game yesterday. The reason given was some swelling in his knee. But reportedly, Bronny is expected to play in Wednesday's summer league game for the Lakers. So Keyshawn, what do you make of this development? Well, they say some swelling, a little bit of pain, so to speak, and that does happen. But you got to think in this situation with him, this is the first time full kind of NBA activity. Yeah, he's been to camps and he's done some things and drills and stuff like that. But running up and down the floor, and he's probably had some irritation going into the game to begin with that they just probably was like, OK, you can play. And then all of a sudden, you get a little bit of information. It tightens up. He can't bend the knee. So they want to let it rest up a little bit, put some ice on it, ultrasound, whatever it is that they need to get him back out on the floor. Um, but he did play a significant amount of time, 20-plus minutes. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I did like about his uh, first opportunity, I guess you could call it in the NBA game, so yeah. to speak, is he was aggressive. He wasn't shy. Nothing fell for him. I mean, he was 2 of 9, 0 of 3 from 3, but he, he showed you that he was going to take the shots. You know, he had a nice steal, a uh, couple of assists, a couple boards, you know. The, and so when you look at it, obviously, we all want to know, okay, what are they protecting him from? Are they protecting him from a bad game? Or are they protecting him because he actually has some issues going on with his knee? Yep. If this was the first pick in the draft overall, then I would be like, oh, God, they're in trouble. But that's not the case. He's got time to develop. I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I think the doctors will take care of whatever the issues are. His father certainly will make sure of that. I'm I hope sure. so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing to remember about Summer League. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he takes a game off. They said it was for precautionary reasons, and they expect him to play on Wednesday. It doesn't matter that he didn't have a good shooting night in his debut. Summer League does not matter. We have seen players who have had kind of crummy summer leagues go on to have great all-star NBA careers. We've had guys who have had great summer leagues fizzle out in the NBA. Victor Webanyama got dunked on in his first summer league. He shot two of 13. Dalton Neck, the Lakers' other big, you know, a shooter, a guy we expect to be a shooter this year. He went three for 12 in his first summer league. By the game. way, he's now six for 25 in his two games. Yeah. So he's not exactly lighting it up either. Go ahead. But the thing to remember yeah. about summer league is it doesn't <clears throat> matter yeah. so it doesn't matter to me about the knee it doesn't matter to me about his shooting numbers the only purpose of summer league is to get these guys the experience yeah. of playing at this level this was the first time that Bronny played for these coaches new teammates new schemes and also by the way he hadn't played since march so the idea that this kid the numbers should be the thing we judge him by to me i just i don't understand that the only thing we need to judge him on is the stuff that we see that doesn't come up in the box score. Okay. I'm going to go back and start with the knee. This was pretty surprising to me because if you say there's some swelling, I don't know how much knee issue you had when you were playing. I but mean, I, I had some swelling here and there. Okay. Well, All I've the had, wear and tear. I've had a lot of way too much experience with bad knees, and if you have swelling... You, you have some issue going on yeah. that's not simple yeah. or minor or whatever. And I was a little surprised that they, they said there was some swelling. I'm having to take whatever they yeah. said. And then that, oh, but he should be fine by Wednesday. Well, if, if you got some swelling, I don't think you're going to be fine, fine by Wednesday. It's an ongoing issue for a little while, depending on what it is or why it is, because... I watched every dribble of the game, and there wasn't a play where I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, he stumbled or got in an awkward spot or a precarious situation or whatever. That didn't happen. He played his, whatever it was, 22 minutes, and he looked like he was moving pretty well. So I don't know what's going on with that, but now we're back to how did he look, and I do agree with you. I, I liked his attitude because he wasn't bashful about shooting the ball. 
there were times when he hesitated a little bit, like, should I, should I? And then once he went, he went. And by the second half, he was really getting into the flow of it. And I do think, as we talked and talked about, defensively, he's going to be pretty to very good. That, that, that that's going to be his trademark and that's going to be his early way to make it into some serious minutes that will matter for the big league team when he plays for the real Lakers. But this is what's going to happen to the son of LeBron James. I'm, I'm watching the internet and he's getting ridiculed for getting his ankles broken on a play. I think we have it. It's fairly early. Of course is, we six, have it. Yeah, we got it, I think. <laughs> they said they were going to find it. 6.30 left in the first quarter. And I, I'm not sure he got his ankles Ooh. broken on that. I think he got bumped. And, and, and again, that's that Adonis Arms who just took this game over. He, he got a little bumped and he stumbled. He lost his balance for a second, but got his ankles broken. I, I don't think that's getting your ankles broken. No, he, right? he, he kind of, he, he was there. He cut him off, but... He uses he uses a uh, form yeah. to kind of push him off and put him yeah. off balance a little bit. But if he would have tried to continue to go to the cup, Bronny was in position. To I stop thought him. he was too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, agreed. So he's up against an Adonis Arms, who again lit it up the other day. He had he had 12 of 17 shots. He he scored 32 points because he's an older player. He's been around. He's bounced all around the G League. And he it's knows how to his, play. What well, you said it's probably his 12th summer play. It, 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 it feels like it is. <laughs> because he got a late start, high school to college, and then he bounced around college. But, but he knows how to play in ways yeah. that Bronny doesn't know how to play. And then the other interesting development was that that Tommy Cousy came off the bench for them. And he's another kid who's 26 years old. He's played in the G League. He's played in Germany. He's played in Italy. He knows how to play point guard. And so he ended up coming off the bench, getting more minutes than Bronny got. He got 23 and a half to 22. And it was because he was making shots. So he made six of 10 shots, made three of six threes and scored 15 points and, and looked like he was way more developed than Bronny was. Well, the, the problem is that <laughs> I, I hear what you say about the summer league doesn't matter, mm -hmm. but this is the son of LeBron James. So it's going to unfortunately matter way too much because we haven't seen much of him. And now I, I was fascinated. I'm on the edge of my seat because I, I didn't get to see enough of him at USC. Right. And plus he had heart surgery that cost him the first month of the season. So I'm like, I don't even care. Like last year, I write completely off. This is where it kind of starts, where I start getting an idea of, oh, oh, okay, he looks like that, he can do that, he can do he that. He looks like he can play yeah. basketball. Yeah. That's right. what he looks like. It's yeah. not, I mean, people act like, and damn the internet, you know how I feel about trolls anyway. Yeah, they act as though he's out there hitting the side of the backboard right. and he's not hitting the rim and the ball isn't rattling around and coming out. The balls are actually going in but popping back out. It wasn't, he wasn't missing to the point where you're like, well, he shouldn't be on the floor. No. It did not look like that at all whatsoever. So, you know, I think he'll be fine. I, I just, from running up and down the court, and I'm not a LeBron James or James family fanboy or nothing like that, he looked like he gonna be okay. When you put him with the better players, just think about it. When he's on the floor with four better players than they have with him on the floor now, Imagine what he's going to be able to do. It's just going. It's just going to look better. Yeah. Well, also, I think. I mean, I think, frankly, you just illuminated part of why summer league doesn't matter. These numbers, because as you pointed out, you have guys who've played a lot of games under their belt. They're going to do better in these first few games. Guess what? That is not an indicator of how they're going to do in the NBA, and that advantage is going to slip. So these kinds of things aren't indicative to me. What is interesting, though is, and you just pointed out, with the internet attention and everything else, he already got a taste in this one game of some of the extra noise that he is going to face. And I don't even mean the arena in the fourth quarter. You had fans shouting, we want Bronny, we want yep. Bronny. He is going to have to deal with sort of the, you know, that happens at the Staples Center. J.J. Reddick's going to get questions about it afterward. He will. And then LeBron James Jr. is going to have to deal with that. So I, I just think that he's getting a taste a little bit of what this is going to be like for him. And I think that is an important part of his summer league development. The rest of it, to me, just doesn't matter. And, and they got drafted two weeks ago. 
They haven't even had an opportunity to sit down and really understand the playbook or their teammates. It's just, it's a totally different, you know, this is such an incomplete grade, right? It just, for, for the internet trolls to, to go at him the way that they, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later because, in my opinion, it's not just about Bronny. It's about some other stuff. <laughs> well, it, you know, it always is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right, just remember, he did sign what I, I would call a big league deal. He signed a Laker contract. He's going to go straight from hope he can play Wednesday nights so, because he did.